Hey guys, so as you guys can see in front of you and if you have read the title of this video, you know that we are working with CMMG on their NK47, the Resolute 200 chambered in 762 by 39. Now, if you guys have seen any of our previous videos in around oh, 2016, you will have already seen that we've done a video on the MK47. However, that was the MK47 Mutant. Since that time, if you guys are not familiar with some of the things that CMMG has been doing, they have completely revamped their line, making it a little bit easier to understand all of their different categories. Really, they have three categories. They've got the Banshee, the Resolute, and the Endeavor series. Each one of those has three different models in their category. With the Banshee, you're gonna find all of your pistols and your NFA SBR rifles. In the Resolute series, you're going to find your carbine rifles. The, the rifles that you really wanna go and either throw on your shoulder and use like this, or you really could go and put a bipod on it, but it's going to be that 16 and a half inch barrel, and it's really designed for a multi-purpose gun. Now the great thing about both of these two categories is that they have them in the pistol calibers, 9, 40, 45, 10 millimeter, but they also have them in rifle. So you have all of your option. You can go with a 5.56 rifle or a 9 millimeter or a 6.5 or a 40. You have so many different options with these two uh, model, model runs or series runs that you can really pick what you want. But the Endeavor is the one that's a little bit different. The Endeavor series is for long range shooting. The gun that you really want to be sitting there as stable as possible with that longer barrel. It's designed not for pistol cal uh, calibers, it's designed to shoot long range. So you're going to be seeing your uh, 6.8, you're gonna see your 6.5 Creedmoors, your 308s, you're gonna see all of those categories of rifle calibers in the Endeavor series, but you're not gonna see the pistol calibers. Now they do have three different price points in each category. And we're gonna talk just about the Resolute as we are going to talk the 762 by 39 uh, rifle. So we're gonna stick just with that for pricing. If you pick the Resolute 100, you're gonna look at a price of about $1,500. If you go and upgrade a little bit, which is going to give you the Magpul grip, the CMMG stock, and a nicer muzzle device, you're going to look at 1650 MSRP. But let's say you guys want to drop just a little bit extra and go with that 300 series, you're going to get a little bit nicer Geisley trigger, you're going to get a nicer charging handle, you're going to get a little bit extra. Now, as to whether or not that is worth it to you, that's up to you. Because you could go with the 100 series and change out the trigger to any trigger that you want, change out the grip, change out the stock, change it to what you want, and save just a little bit extra money, or you can go and drop an extra $500 and get that really nice um, Geisley trigger, the really nice charging handle, get it how you want it from CMMG without the hassle of having to do anything else. Now I will let you guys know a little secret about this if you guys didn't know already, the charging handle is proprietary. And the reason is, is that the uh, bolt carrier group in here is not a standard bolt carrier group. It is only for the 7.62x39 models. And the reason they went with that is because it's a 308 bolt carrier group that has been trimmed down to fit the smaller platform that is their Mutant series. It means that you don't have worries of catastrophic failure on your bolt. They have a nice beefy bolt that can handle that larger round. And being able to run Russian ammunition, you really don't ever worry about it going and being over pressurized and blowing that bolt up because it wasn't designed for those extreme pressures unlike a 308 is, which is pretty nice. Now before we shoot it, I do wanna go and mention that we do have my written scope on here. This is their Mod 7. It is a one to five power 
Sadly, it has been discontinued, so if you are looking for their Mod 7s, they are no longer available. They do have a lot of options. I will tell you, I'm very glad that they did drop the 1 to 5 power, and now their base model is the 1 to 8 power scopes. I don't know. I think that the higher power on a, on a uh, AR scope is just always going to be better. It means that sitting out at any range, you've got the power for that scope. And since I'm going to be sitting this out at 200 yards here in a minute, yeah, I'd probably want that 8 power, not just this little 5. Why don't we go and do some shooting, shall we? Alright, we are out here at 50 yards. We're going to put 10 rounds down range onto this steel plate. I've got the camera set up behind me so that, way that you guys can see it. Let's go to it. Well, a little bit too much uh, force went into that. Target fell down. We're gonna move over to another target. Just give us one moment. All right, you guys are more familiar with this target. Let's see how it does. All right, so this is just a first look. It's an opportunity to show you guys what their new series is. I went with the 200 because, yes, the, the 300 is definitely a nicer rifle, but I wanted to go with something that I could customize myself. I wanted something that wasn't bogged down by certain features. I will say that I am disappointed in CMMG for one simple reason. The charging handle should not be this crappy mil-spec charging handle on any of their rifles anymore. They have a much nicer charging handle, and honestly, they should just be putting that onto all of them, out the door, no problem. But we're stuck with this one. We'll upgrade it a little bit later. Why don't we move over to the 200 yard range? All right, so now we're at the 200 yard range. We're gonna shoot here. I've got 10 rounds. I am still running this uh, five power scope, so we're going to be zoomed in as best as we can. I do have up at the yard range my spotting scope, so you guys will be able to actually see the hits. We're just gonna be shooting steel, so I'm not aiming for, you know, super tight groupings. I'm just aiming for what I can shoot on that steel plate. After this, we're gonna go and shoot some uh, bottles and see how that looks. Let's get to it. Now, the plate that I'm shooting at, I can't actually hear a ding. I hear some smacking of what I think is just target, so I may have uh, pulled a few of those shots. I honestly don't know. I probably did, so we'll gonna, well, you guys know at this point because you guys have seen the footage. Now, why don't we move up a little bit closer and uh, shoot some bottles, shall we? I'll see you up there. Guys, I'm Atticus James with GearsWithGuns.com. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys will check out our Instagram where you can find out all the cool guns that we're going to be working with prior to them coming out on video on Wednesdays. I hope you guys will follow us on Reddit as we post all of our videos over there and we're planning on putting more content over there so you guys can find out a little bit more information, more photos, more things that we just don't typically post on just our website or just onto YouTube. So stay tuned for more content over there as well. Be sure to join our subreddit, r slash gears of guns. I will put a link in the description so you guys can find us and check us out. Everything is at gears of guns. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.